So, so Lydia, what, do you have any ideas? Yeah, do you have any ideas on that? Um, if you had uh, a person that didn't like pets or dogs and then someone who did, you want to introduce them slowly, kind of, okay, I have cats, and then slowly introduce them to, okay, they're a big part of my life, and just kind of slowly get to know them and feel them out. But I have seen people bring um, fiancés, boyfriends, husbands to training classes with them so they can kind of understand how the dog's mind works, how we're going to train them, how it's going to you know, affect their lives and different things that they can teach them to do. So sometimes just bringing them in on it uh, helps them to like pets and cats or dogs a little bit better. So really, when you're talking about training um, and, and um, introducing um, your, your pet and your, and your new um, loved one, you're, it, it's not really all that different. I mean, you're, you're really introducing them both in the same way. Would, wouldn't it be good to, to, to take them to something, say, like, like I said, like a dog park, where it's something that you have um, a, a certain time that you're going to be there and a certain time it's going to end, and you're going to have a certain activity that's planned? That's a great one. Yes, that, that is a good idea. I think Lydia's points are good because you, tra you train them gradually. You train the dog to the person and the person to the dog because after all, we're all mammals. That's true. And we really are. Now, you're listening to Marcy's Menagerie on 1480 WDJO. Please call in and ask a question of our experts, Dr. Jill Klingler or Lydia McCarthy, at 513-749-1480. Again, 513-749-1480 um, to join the conversation or ask a question of Dr. Jill Klingler or dog trainer Lydia McCarthy. Or um, you can go to, um, to the web on um, www.1480wdjo. Go out to the break right now. I'll ask that now. I've got two people on. I got Jennifer on line. On one, she's listening. I'm sorry. I got Jennifer on line one because she's having a problem listening to the show on the internet, so she's listening through the phone. Okay, so we've got Jennifer on line one. You guys put this, this on. Desiree is on line two. Featuring chef-inspired cooking with hand-picked local ingredients, Brew River has the largest selection. Of locally I have beers, uh, and Jennifer on. Craft beers here. on tap. 50 of the world's best WDJ. guest beers in bottles and cans, and over 40 bottles of hand-picked boutique WDJ. and esoteric WDJ. wines from select vineyards around the world. For an inspiring and accessible culinary experience, come enjoy the Brew River for lunch or dinner Tuesday through free. Saturday, or Sunday for a New Orleans-style brunch and home. dinner service just east of downtown <laughs> along the river at 2062 Riverside Drive. Visit them online at brewrivergastropub.com or phone 513 861-2484. Welcome to Mount Healthy Auto Body. Okay, we got about 30 seconds. We're coming back to De Desiree first. Okay, Desiree. Right. Everybody's up here for you. That's okay. Say, why do they call you Crash? Heck of I know. From minor touch-ups to major mess-ups, the name you need to remember is Mount Healthy Auto Body. 521-8600. That's why I'll make it easier Precision for you. Precision collision repair since 1930. 521-8600. Come see them at 1595 Madison Avenue, one block north of the Ronald Reagan Prescott Highway. Heads up the studio. Here we Healthy. go. Welcome back to Marcy's Menagerie on 1480 WDJO. And we have Desiree on the phone. Hello, Desiree. How are you this morning? <laughs> oh no! Well, we we broke it because we were all so pretty. <laughs> so so what? Why are you calling this morning? Sorry. Thank you. 
Desiree about what the grief process does to couples and if you can't I mean it doesn't sound like your your partner was willing to work through the process with you right and it's it can be so complex with the grief process each person like you say does it differently right. if he had been willing to stick it out with you and be you know work through the feelings it w I think it would have worked but Sorry that that you you had to to go through that. I I really appreciate your calling and and sharing that with the audience. Um, so really take care and thank you. Our, we have um, Jennifer on the line. Jennifer, yes, ma'am. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Chicago. Well, hi. How are you? Good. How are you? And congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, t so tell us what what what's your story? I have uh, four legged children and a two legged <laughs> child. I have three bass and hounds and a ship pool and a pixie and a hound dog. Oh boy! <laughs> what are their names? I have uh, my senior, who's fourteen years old, uh, and rescue is uh, Lucy. Lucy. Here with, with me, our mascot, and she says she's sending out a, a great big. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the howl heard around the world. love to see that. You're going to have to take um, take a picture or put it on your flip cam and, and send it to me on Facebook. And that's, and that's one of the things that I ask all of the listeners to do, to go to Facebook and friend me at Marcy Hall Newbold. And it's M-A-R-S-I-E Hall, H-A-L-L N-E-W-B-O-L-D. I have a website, www.marcysmenagerie.com, um, and and I will be able to send you to that through, um, I'm going to funnel everybody through Facebook for, um, for now. So tell us your story about romance and, um, and, uh, and pets. Well, for me, I'm pretty, you know, I was listening earlier, and, you know, the, the uh, work in the way in, I'm not like that on, at all. So you say, hi, my name's Jennifer, I'm, a, I'm an animal lover, so uh, uh, if you've got a problem with this fur on my um, sweater. Um. I'll see you later, you know, and I'll say hi when I see you, but I don't want you around, because I don't have anything to, to connect with. I, I, I can definitely un understand, and it was that way with um, with my husband and I. We were both um, great um, dog lovers, and 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 there was um, no question that um, after we got married, we... we decided what well, we were older we weren't going to have human children but we had um we had a, that puppy um gleam in our eyes <laughs> so, <laughs> i know jennifer and for me it has to be like that because i don't just get into it for the fun times i don't have a healthy dog they're all in one way or another seriously sick with cancer or things that we're working oh. hard to find out what they are or Sorry. behavioral 
mental issues that we're going to specialists. I have the realm on everybody. You know, and I just figure I don't even complain anymore because I just say God gives me what I can handle and he knows I can handle these children. Absolutely. And so if, and if bless your heart. If not an animal person, they won't financially support you. No, nope, that's true. So, you know, it's and, and, and that's 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 an important thing. We are responsible pet lovers and we take on what, what we are able to. Um, listen, thank you so much for calling and stay warm in Chicago um, and um, and maybe call back um, an, another week. Sure. All right. I love, to. love hearing you guys talking. Thank you. You're listening to WDJO, Marcy's Menagerie. Please call us if you'd like to um, join in our conversation at 513-749-1480. Now, we have Gail on on the line. Hello, Gail? Oh, Debbie! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's 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 all my fault. Um, n now Nosy, I I know Nosy Nosy told me, and um, well, she's not very good with her numbers yet. <laughs> so where are you calling from? I'm from Davie, Kentucky. Oh, hi. How are you? Fine. So what what what's your story? Um, it's, I don't really have a question, but um, I guess for, I, I'm talking about my husband. Yeah. Um, Really? No. He didn't grow up with them? No. His mom didn't allow pets. So he never really had a pet. But uh, I came into the marriage with a pet and to accept me, he had to accept my dog. So how did that go? Well, in the beginning, with, I had a little white poodle at the time, and he couldn't touch me. Uh, that dog was very dedicated to me. And he would touch me and he would get a little Oh my gosh! So how did you sneak that in in your bra? <laughs> Other than than the the issues with the with the animals or the animal with, with your poodle? No, no, we, no. There were no other problems. So you just decided that you were going to bring um, that that dog home. Did you know that that would be the potential outcome? Dr. Klingler, what do you what do you have to say about this? Well, I think sometimes unilateral decisions are made, but it sounds like you worked it out, but somehow you came to a compromise.